what is possible for your business when you research. It's 2009, and you are in the shoes of entrepreneur Kevin Systrom. The success of the networking app Foursquare has inspired you to dedicate several months to develop Bourbon, your very own app which allows users to check in at locations, plan future check-ins, earn points for meeting friends at check-in spots, and share photos of these gatherings. Following the app release, you decide to feel the market's pulse by doing some research and examining a few key metrics, specifically ease of use and general look and feel or user experience and interface, UX and UI. The results come back severely disappointing. Bourbon is jumbled with features which are not easy to navigate or use. Now where do you go next? In Systrom's case, he started researching how his own user base was using Bourbon, gathering data about the problem and its underlying trends. To do this, he needed to examine app usage analytics, so he joined forces with another programmer, Mike Krieger, and they set about doing just that. Contrary to expectation, as is often the case with objective research, usage metrics like daily, weekly, and monthly active usage and heat maps all came back with the same result. Usage was very low for Bourbon's check-in features. There was a silver lining though. Customers were heavily using Bourbon's photo sharing features. Thus, Systrom and Krieger make the choice to abolish their app check-in infrastructure and focus on their photo sharing capabilities. They started out by surveying photography apps on the market and conducting a SWOT analysis, as discussed on our previous video. It soon became apparent that there were two competitors to watch out for, a niche app called Hipstamatic and the mainstream titan of social networking, Facebook. Hipstamatic was trendy with good UI and UX design, and while it boasted a good roster of filters, photo sharing was difficult. Similarly, Facebook was, for all its success, still lagging in photo sharing on its iPhone app. This is precisely where the Bourbon founders identified their market opportunity. They could focus on making social photo sharing easy. As a result, they axed every single major feature of Note except for photo, like, and comment. Simplicity was key. For good measure, they also rolled out filters as an additional feature to remain on par with Hipstamatic. In late 2010, the pair ended up releasing their photo sharing app and rebranding it to Instagram, with users to post photos in no more than three clicks on their new app. Facebook ended up buying out Instagram in 2012 for around $750 million. Now's your turn. Given a clearly defined business or product, you need to research, gather data, and prepare a slide deck with an overview and list of the problems and trends together with a competitor landscape and SWOT analysis. Crucially, interview experts to learn about the challenges in the industry. We at the Abu Dhabi SME Hub would be delighted to put you in touch with such industry experts to help you with the required insights. Identify the Total Addressable Market, or TAM conduct market segmentation, and estimate how much market share you might be able to pull from the competition if you were to solve the said problem. This estimate can be conservative, aggressive, or somewhere in between based on your entrepreneurial appetite, a set of realistic assumptions, or very solid data and calculations. Finally, use all this data to answer the simple question, is my business problem worth pursuing?